Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, your one-stop shop for mature dialogue. We're going to get right to it. Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast, your one-stop shop for mature sports dialogue. I am your host, Earl Tima, alongside my co-host, my big unk, Alan Tima. Before we go any further, don't forget to like the video, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. That way you know when we upload new content, Dream Team is out there. Also, follow us on social media, Instagram, and Facebook, Team Sports Entertainment. All right, y'all, we're getting right to it. It's the weekend, it's Saturday. What time is it, man? What time is it? Yeah. It's one oh three. Yeah, man. And it's the Utah Jazz weekly update. Thank you for your joke. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Utah Jazz weekly update. Try to catch me slipping. Yeah. But yeah, you know how we do every week. Utah we, Jazz. Yeah, we uh we definitely uh here for you all out there, Utah and all the Utah fans uh across the nation or, or globally. Um you guys had a great week. Well, mm, fits five hundred ball. Five hundred ball. But right. but maintain that mm-hmm. um Lee in the Western Conference standings or the NBA standings, I should say. Right. Overall, the best record in the league. They currently lead the Phoenix Suns by two and a half games. Mm-hmm. And um, I guess we'll start from the first game of the week, mm-hmm. which was which happened uh, after our uh, upload of the last episode. They played the Orlando Magic. Was that a game or was that listen, practice? Man, they, listen, they played JV, man. <laughs> they played a JV squad. Um, um, it, it was crazy. I'm not even gonna sit here because I didn't. I, I didn't. Even wa- I it couldn't was, watch it no more. It was over, man. Yeah, that was that was over. Yeah, I that, mean, that was one where you after the maybe the first quarter and a half, you say, you know what? I'm gonna just look at the stat sheet after this because I didn't even look at the stat that, sheet. That, that was, was a blowout. That was just, ugly, man. What? The people and, almost like was it 46 or something like that? Yeah. And, and usually in a game like that. If it's a blowout, mm-hmm. the score usually looks better than what it actually was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. Most teams, you know, get it within 20, but they, 40 they never something points, man. They never th- because that just goes a testament of how deep they are because the when they brought this, the starters out and the second unit is in there. They got a great su- yeah. second unit also, so you, it's no let up. And it was a balanced attack because you would think someone scored 55 or 60 that night. I don't think anyone broke 30. Yeah, so, yeah. well, you got to understand, Orlando just basically a new team because they made a bunch of trades. They got a bunch of young players. Mm-hmm. They they setting up for a future. Yeah, they are. And so they definitely wasn't ready for a team that still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> but to their credit, Orlando. Well, to Utah's credit, Orlando, although they depleted their whole roster, mm-hmm. they played some teams well. Yeah, some teams. Yeah. Not a team that's sitting there, been sitting in first place all season long, got championship aspirations, and you're going to let up. But this is what I mean. Mm-hmm. And we talked about, I talked about that's this last episode. That's a fact. Don't take your foot off the league's neck. Yeah. I don't care who who's coming. Mm-hmm. It's focus. One goal in mind. That's the. I'm gonna stomp you out, and they're not playing. Yeah. And, and and Orlando, you came in here. You, that, that, that's not our problem that you went and made all these trades. <laughs> it's not our problem. We coming in. A win in, is a win. A man. win is a win. Talk. And you know what? We're gonna get you out of here. Not only is it gonna help us, but how is gonna help? It's gonna help us because we're gonna be able to get rest. The proper load management. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna get rest. We're gonna set out our, our, our starters. We're gonna get some guys in the game that can probably help us down the line. Help mm. them get a rhythm. Yeah. So that. that yeah, man, and I, and I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm going to talk I talk a little bit. We're going to get to the games. We're going to get there naturally, but shout out to Rudy Gobert, man. I think he listening to you, man. <laughs> I, 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 Rudy, if you're Listen. listening, we see you. We see you, and every time I watch you do it, I just think about my nephew and what he what the the what he put on you and what he told you he needed from you. And ever since then, he's been balling. He's man. been balling. He's, the last three I mean, games, he's already balling, yeah, but, but you asked for more, yeah. and that's exactly what he's doing. Yeah. The yeah. last three games, he had at least fifteen and fifteen. Yeah. That's not even counting the blocks. Right. I'm not counting the stats from the Orlando game because mm-hmm. if you win by forty something, if he had two points, it don't matter. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like because we didn't even mention you. You mentioned blocks. We didn't. Even mentioned there was a game and i know that was the week not this week but a week before last week he 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 um he he, he blocked nine shots in one game that was his, that was his career high that's crazy nine nine block shots that's crazy you know and, and we we didn't even mention that it's a lot of stuff we don't yeah. mention because um like i'm not a big stats person same here 
And I, but I, I listen to you guys, and you guys ask for stats, and you mm -hmm. ask for that, and we're working on that okay. because we're not just, you know, we're here to, we're here for you, Utah Jazz fans. We're okay. not here just to sit down and just, just to talk about Utah Jazz. We're, we're here together. We come right. We're gonna do this together. And what you guys in your comments when you make suggestions, <laughs> they're not going out one, one, going through one ear and one out the other. We're actually gonna try to implement what you're asking us because we're here for you. Mm -hmm. So if we're not giving you what you want, then there's no need for us to be here. Uh, th listen, I can't even argue with that. That's <laughs> right. a valid point, man. Exactly. All right, man. So they, they lost to the uh, Utah, lost to Dallas. And right. You can't win them all. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They, Donovan Mitchell had a bad shoot in that yeah. game. Yeah. Th that's the key there. N not just the key, but we got to understand, there are other great superstars out there and, and, <laughs> and uh, Luca was just on his game that night yeah yeah i mean and that's i mean trying to slow him down when he gets started i mean even what you consider a bad game for luca is is it's it's a great game for an average person I and mean, we're he's talking about a player that's what he's what three years in the league yeah this is his third yeah this is third is he tw he's about 21 right Some, yeah, something yeah. like that yeah. yeah but he's been playing professional ball yeah. for, for a long time that's so. a valid point yeah you yeah. gotta count those years well it's he's seasoned mm -hmm. and he doesn't let anybody speed him up that's mm -hmm. the thing and yeah. that game he was in a i watched that game he was in he was he, he was at a pace that was real comfortable for him which which wasn't fast mm -hmm. but it he was just everything was clicking for him and um uh, Royce O'Neal did the best he could it was just nothing too much he could do yeah when when someone is clicking like that in particular a mm -hmm. superstar Mm -hmm. It doesn't really matter who's defending them. That's not Royce O'Neal's fault. It's just, it just happens. He's All you can do is try to give effort. Yeah, and he did. And can he, be he, the, he, I yeah. mean, he hit some tough shots. Yeah. Wasn't like, uh, and he was hitting them. I mean, he well defended. You can't, what more can you do? Mm -hmm. And and that's the thing about it. Um, that's one game. That's it. And in the playoffs, it's a seven game. I mean, that that superstar would have to do that for four games. I don't see that happening. Yeah, you're not going to bet against that, no, right? I, don't, yeah. I mean, no. It's, yeah. I only seen one superstar do that. That can go elevate his level higher and higher and higher to to get that victory the way Luka played that game. And that's Michael Jordan. And he's retired. I can name some others, but uh, but it's not about them. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. This is about the Utah Jazz, right? Well. <laughs> so we're going to move on to um, the game after Phoenix. that. They played Phoenix. Yeah, that was another yeah. loss. Um they it started happens. off. Nah, yeah. they, they 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 started off. The they only scored forty points in the first half. Yeah, and that's the key there. Forty points. Yeah. Because we just mentioned they beat Orlando by forty something points, in, in, right. as far as the end of the game. Mm -hmm. But Utah only scored forty points. That's an indication that it's going to be a rough night. But the way they ended the game, they shouldn't have been in that game. Well, that because in the first half, what I noticed is. And this is the thing with young stars. Okay. Young stars. And then to me, and, and, and it, it's a knock at the same time, but at, this, at the same time, it's also something that's going to, we want to see it. And it's, when you're playing against other young stars, you, you have to make sure that you don't get caught up in the matchup. I see where you're going with that. And I believe that, Donovan Mitchell got caught up in outplaying Devin Booker. Yeah. Instead of just playing his game. Yeah. In the first half. That's what I think. Cause and I believe that's why they started off so slow because it was a lot of isolation. Yeah. That's a fact. But in the second half, he um for lack of a better term, he redeemed himself. He played more within himself. But they had played so bad, it, it put them in a position where he had to not play hero ball, but mm -hmm. he had to take the game over offensively, which he did, but he also took the toughest defensive assignment, which was Devin Book on a lot of the switches. Right. And I think that he didn't have enough left down the stretch. Because mm -hmm. he hit the big three to tie it up to get them to overtime, yeah. but then he, in overtime, he, he missed the huge shot. And he, I believe he missed the free, free throw. Free throw, two. Yeah. Two, two, two free throws. Yeah. That, that, um, pretty much would have had them back in it mm -hmm. and uh so that's i mean it happens and and you can't win them all and you because you like we told earlier they got to learn they got to learn from it oh and um another big uh 
reason they lost that game. Clarkson. I don't remember seeing him in the fourth quarter. Got I hurt, but got hurt. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah he's actually, guy. he's he's he had to he's he sat out the next game after also with that mm-hmm. with that injury, a sprained ankle. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah. And then they came back. Um, next game, did they play Portland? Portland. Portland. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that was last night. Yeah, kind of like the way they end began the week. Yeah. Kind of ended it the same. Oh, that way. was that was that was uh, <laughs> Donovan they, Mitchell. They you just, know, Donovan Mitchell. Uh, in the last 12 games, has average. His average been 30 points, man. Yeah. 30 points in the last 12 games is what he's been averaging. Mm-hmm. 32 minutes. I was just gonna say that because last night he played like 33 minutes. Yeah. yeah. So he's getting the rest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 But that goes well because we're talking about averages now, right? So mm-hmm. when you get teams out of there early, when you doing when you do the math, yeah. if he can score his points early and then he sits. Mm-hmm. Because most cats just scoring all of these points, but they need at least forty minutes to do it. Right. So he's low managing and being effective. Yeah, and he's young, so he he could. Most people, most most teams are running their young players uh, with a lot of minutes because they're young and they got the legs for it and all that. But then they find out that they're human by the time the playoffs start. But yeah. I think that Donovan Mitchell is going to be well rested because they, like I said, they're they're, they're deep. Yeah, and um, they now not only they're going into that Portland. Game after t- after losing um to Ma- to Dallas and then losing t- to Phoenix, they they had something uh, on hand all season long. They haven't lost three games in a row. No, not at all. <laughs> and that was that was at in, in jeopardy. Yeah. And uh, they came back strong. Yeah. Uh, last night against Portland and, yeah. and pulled that off. Oh yeah. Let me. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this. Um, shout out to Rudy Gobert, man. Eighteen and twenty last night. <laughs> <laughs> he's listening. He he's watching. And if not, you spoke it into existence. Yeah. He's giving it. Yeah, he's man. definitely giving it. You can't teach size, man. And I, when they utilize that, it's a headache. Cause listen, it it should no longer be a surprise. These questions like how good are the Utah Jazz or are the Utah Jazz any good? I don't even know why that question still exists. Or do you believe? And still. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. We know though, they yeah. know, but we I just don't understand. I'm kind of like baffled by how how could you ignore the obvious? It's 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 the it's how the media does things. Because as much as we've been saying this all year long and it's gonna sound like a broken record, they're still in first place. Mm-hmm. But yet the talk is still the Clippers, the Lakers, and 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 all these other teams, but it's as if like it's a fluke. It's not a fluke. Mm-hmm. They, they have, they have, I believe, three consecutive, not three, not consecutive, but three different, three times they have won nine games in a row. Yeah, three times. Yeah, nine. That's consistent. Nine game win streaks. Yeah, in a row. Yeah, I mean, come on. And then, not only that, but then Derek Favors has also became the 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 tenth tenth leading scorer in history in the in the history Utah of Jazz. Utah Jazz. Yeah. Tenth. So that that's that they're breaking so many m- milestones and things to talk about. And that's what always happens in in um, championship years with those that team. It's always. Have done so much reaching different the goals and yeah. milestones. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I love the fact that the coach um, Quinn Snyder he stated that uh, he looked back into history and said that and, and counted how many times the team that was in first place won actually won the championship. So he's basically saying just because we're in first place, don't think that is guaranteed that we we're gonna be there. And so I don't think they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna get laps. Yeah. They'll get excited and, and expect to be there. Yeah. The like this, they can't get to that in their mindset where they expect to be in the finals just because they have to continue putting the work in mm-hmm. to get there, right? And and not to do what everybody else like. No one is expecting them to be there. They can't expect to be there, you know. Mm-hmm. So yeah, man. Like we can always talk about as far as seating goes. I've seen eight seeds beat number one seeds and. Right. One seeds go on and win the chip. I haven't seen the eight seed win a championship. That would be the ninety five Rockets. 
Right. Yeah, they they won a championship. Mm -hmm. But with that being said, I I don't see any team that's currently in the play in mm -hmm. beating the Utah Jazz first round at all. No. Because they're starting to they've you would say they hit their stride already because they pretty much going wire to wire. You see that uh, they turn the dial just a little bit. Everybody has. Yeah. That's why you see they have. Yeah. And, and I mean, all those teams that's they, they're trying to get those playoff positioning. Mm -hmm. Phoenix came at them because why? They wanted to. They they feel they can catch them and get that number one seed. Mm -hmm. So th they came. That was a play. You, that game was exciting. It was, but the, you can see that sometimes you question whether or not some teams have that next gear. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. Because we always say, "Oh, it's not playoff time yet. We'll see when we get there." Mm -hmm. But no, it's, it's good it's to that see. time of season. They, though. all right, let's, yeah, let's crank it up. Let's We're go. gonna crank it up. Let's yeah. go. And they're doing their thing, man. So although you went, or Utah went two and two this week, mm -hmm. you still didn't lose any ground. Huh. You still. In first place, let me hear you say it. And still! In first place, overall in the league, in the Western Conference. And um, should be happy and glad about that. I know that's not your expectation to be the number one seed. Not only just you want to win a chip. Right. But that's... Positioning counts. Position, it does. I mean, they, they, they will have... Well, I can't even say that because the way the Lakers are, are dropping with their players and not, not mm. there, that could be a dangerous low seed. Yeah. And, and but so what I'm saying is the number one seed normally... That's the easiest route to absolutely. The, but in the West, that really doesn't matter because that all of those teams are dangerous. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. But one last except thing. the ones that's down in that, and I don't see any of them that's in the play-in yeah. that that can actually beat Utah in a seven-game series. Yeah, I, and home court means something. I don't know the current name of the arena now. I think it's a Vivian Arena or something like that. But I know back in the day when it was the Delta Center, mm -hmm. it's the same thing. Same fans, same energy. You don't want to play Utah on the road. No. You, you don't. Mm -mm. So I don't care how dangerous the HC seed is. Mm -hmm. It's still in the back of your mind that, listen, it's a different kind of atmosphere in there. And those fans, and, they're and buzzing, rocking, and they want all the smoke. If that, if that, um, if they're allowing, I don't know how many fans will be in by, by playoff time. Yeah. Those fans is in the building. <laughs> that, and you know what? Think about how they're playing now mm -hmm. with limited fans and uh, no fans at all. They haven't even, the, the Utah Jazz fans out there haven't witnessed it face to face. So they have that bottled up. You know what kind of energy is going to be, be in that building? In there, man. They don't even need the full, they don't need the. To, to pack it out 10,000 if they get 10,000 in there it's gonna be crazy no doubt yeah man. listen man 20,000 yeah cause uh, uh, I went to an NBA game this season it was 20,000 people in there it was plenty of room and uh I can imagine 20,000 fans in Utah in the playoffs mm -hmm. and that's that's another player that they have right there. Yeah, that's yeah. the that's the coming in Utah. Man, six man always a... always been hard, but it's been hard because of the fans. Yeah, and there's no that there, there's only limited amount of fans that's that's like the Utah Jazz fans. The team organizations don't have the fans like like that. No, that that's rare, man. Yeah. So shout out to you guys out there, man. This is Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. Once a week, we are here. We talk about the Utah Jazz with our Utah Jazz weekly update. Mm -hmm. um, before we go, don't forget to like the video. Leave a comment below. Let us know what you think about your Jazz at this current time. Are you excited about what's happening as far as the, uh, the standings and the projections going forward? Also, subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell and we're asking that you check us out on social media on facebook and instagram team sports entertainment the podcast and uh, let me hear you say it one more time and still <laughs> they got it man y'all be good <laughs> this is team sports entertainment the podcast we out of here utah jazz weekly update peace